Hello, my name is Henry Enfrey, and this is a Godot 3D game development tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to do 3D movement and rotation using the arrow keys on the keyboard. We're not using the mouse in this tutorial, we're using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a room. So we're going to go to 3D scene. And we're going to call this spatial room. We'll click on this room and we're going to create a road so that we can see where our player is going when our character moves around on screen. So we're going to click on this plus. We'll go to mesh instance right here. So, and we're going to go to this box here and we're going to click on the new cube mesh. And we're going to resize our cube, kind of make it look like a road. So then just, we're just going to spread it out. We'll spread it out quite a bit. Okay, so that's good enough. And then we're just going to add a little color to that road. Let's go to New Spatial Material. Click on the circle. Go to Albedo. Click on the white. And let's make this green, as in green grass. Okay, so that's good enough for our purposes. And we're, we're going to call this ground. Ground, okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is make some buildings. We're going to make some buildings so that we can see where our character is going when our character is moving around on screen. So we're going to click this plus here. We're going to go to mesh instance. Then we're going to go over here. We're going to make these cubes too. So. And then we're just going to pull these cubes up and then we're going to move them a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate, it. I'm going to call this a building. Then we're going to duplicate this building a couple of times. So this is another building. Then we're going to make another building. And then one more building. So we're not trying to do anything fancy. We're just uh, making something so that as a reference point so that you can see what's going on and, and where the character is going when we launch our game and move around on screen. So that's all this is. After this, you can take what you learned in this and expand on it and make these look like real buildings. In a, and real grass and all that stuff. Okay, so we got our room, and last thing we got to do is add a camera to this room. So go to camera and create. Okay, so we got okay, so we got our room. So let's save this room. Click the save as room.tsn. That's good enough. And then we're gonna make it so that when we launch our game, we'll get this room and and make this room our main scene. So we're gonna click on project. Project settings, uh, run should be clicked, and it, this box should say room.tsn. But if it doesn't say room.tsn, you can go to this folder here, click on room.tsn, and click open. And then once once that is done, uh, we have our room as our main scene for when we launch our game. So the next thing we're going to do is create our character. We're going to click on this plus. We're going to go to the 3D scene. This time we're going to change this spatial to a kinematic body. So, um, kinematic body. And we're going to rename it Henry, as I do in all my tutorials, right? Okay, so we're going to click on Henry, and we're going to add a mesh instance to Henry, too. So, click on the plus, mesh instance. Create. Then we're gonna make Henry a cylinder, and, and that's all we need. Like I said, when you make your game, you can always make this a human or with animations on it. You can make it a spaceship, a car, or or make whatever character uh, based on the kind of game that you're trying to make. But for now, like I said, we're just trying to keep this simple so that you can learn how to do rotations is uh, we're going to add a cam base to this so we're going to click on henry and then we're going to click on the plus 
and then we're gonna go to spatial and click create and then we're gonna call this cam base make sure you spell it exactly the way I'm doing it so that when the script is attached to it this thing will work correctly and, and cam base all cam base is is what the camera follows uh, when we move our character around so okay so we got our character but the final thing we're gonna do is add a script to this character so click on Henry uh, click on script new script Henry GD that's good so I'm gonna delete all this stuff and then I'm just gonna paste in some pre-written code that I wrote earlier some of this code is based on some of the examples that I got off the Godot website um, what I did was I took some mouse controls the, the regular mouse controls and I uh, fixed them up so that they, they could work with keyboard controls so that's that's basically what this is okay so I'm just gonna briefly go over some of this code here that we have before we launch our game so first thing we're doing is this code extends the kinematic body which is Henry we're just telling Godot that this code is an extension of this kinematic body that we named Henry and then next when our character moves when we're whether we're moving forward backward right or left it's gonna move 12 pixels per second at least that's what I call it I call it per second that's just me and and when we rotate uh, we're gonna be looking in the directions we're rotating that's what this M look since M and V look since is for and the movement vector we just send it so we, our character can move in the 3d directions was we're moving forward backwards left or right and here we're just setting our variable for the camera so the camera can move with us while we're walking around the screen uh, y velocity that's that's there'll be speed in which we spin whether we're going left or right go vector that that'll be attached for to when we spin around here in this part we uh, all we did was take this thing that we have in the editor this cam base that we have in the editor and we just right click uh, and copy node and and I pasted it right here so we can that we can use this entity in our code here so now we're in the funk physics process delta function it's, it's the place where our movement is initialized and so th that makes our animations possible here we attached a, a variable that move to a 3d vector function so that it makes it possible for us to move in 3d space and next we set up our controls ui up ui down ui right those are just pre-configured controls that works right out of the box whenever you download Godot so you can just use these controls right here to make your character move around the screen and like I said when we press the up button our character should move forward uh, 12 pixels per second yeah we got 12 pixels per second up here at least that's what I call it when we press down our character will move backwards 12 pixels per second here we got it so when we press the right arrow key our character will spin to the right and we'll be looking in that direction and down here when we press the left arrow key uh, we'll spin to the left and our character will be looking in that direction V look sense that's, that has to do with where we will we'll be looking and we got a camera set to where we'll be looking to finally we set our, our movement velocity uh, from when we're spinning and down here we set our rotation to these rotation functions we just finalized our rotation and we use this function here to finalize our movement so that when we move around on the screen and when we press the arrow keys this code up here could work okay so that explains our script i didn't save it yet so let's save as save as scene henry.tsn that's good enough okay so now we got our character okay so now we're going to go back to this 3d and we're going to click on the room and the last thing we're going to do is click on room and we're going to add Henry into this scene here. So click on this change, click on Henry, open. Okay, so Henry's in the room now. So we're just going to pull this up and then we're going to attach this camera to Henry. Okay, and then we're going to click on the camera and we're just going to move this camera in such a way that when we launch our game, the camera will be focused on Henry. Gotta make sure the camera is also facing towards Henry. 
right now it's facing towards this left direction here. I'm gonna go to this Y rotation. Let's try 90 degrees. Okay, all right, good. So that's what we got, minus 90 degrees. So now our camera's facing Henry and let's make sure it's in a good position. Okay, so now the camera's directly behind him. That should work. Okay, so let's see what happens when we launch our game. We might have to rotate this room a little to make to make sure that it works with our code and moves in the directions that we want it to move. Okay, so let's see what happens when we launch our game. I hope this works. Okay, good. So, the camera's in the right place. So let's see what happens when I press the up arrow key. Oh, wow, see? Uh, when I press the up arrow key, the character's moving to the right, and that's not what we want. So that means we got to rotate our room so that uh, when we press our arrow keys, our character will be moving in the right direction. And when you're working on this thing, you might have to correct these things according to what's going on on your screen. And you might have to play with the numbers a little bit. Okay, so let's go back to the room. Click on room again. And let's go, go to transform. Let's, uh, let's try to see what happens when we rotate our room to minus 90 degrees. Make sure the room is selected. Because we're going to rotate the whole room. So 90. Okay, let's, now let's see what happens. Minus 90. Okay, so that works correctly. Now, okay, so when I press the up arrow key, we're moving forward. When I press the down arrow key, we're moving backwards. When I press the left arrow key, we're rotating to the left. Okay, let's see what happens when we move forward. Okay, so we're moving towards the first building. Good. Okay, so it's working out perfectly. And then when I press the right arrow key, I'm spinning to the right, and we're moving towards that direction. Okay, good. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. Like I said, you got you might have to play with these numbers in the room. If your code is not going in the direction that it's supposed to go when you launch your game, you might have to select room here and, and play with these numbers down here. And do them in multiples of 90. So do whatever works in this way so it'll work according to what you have on, on your screen. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. Take what you learn and expand on it. Like I said, instead of a cylinder here, you can have a person or uh, or model uh, with animations. You can have real buildings. You can have a ground with grass. Uh, you can have a whole city and be moving around in it. Use your imagination. Till next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>